Today's episode of Ask a Geek, we're going to be answering the question, could I be a zombie and a ghost at the same time? To answer this question, we're going to have to suspend disbelief and we're going to assume that we can live in a world where both zombies and ghosts exist. On the same token, we're going to have to accept the fact that everybody has a soul and that you become a ghost the traditional way, which is you have a strong emotion, you're attached to a place or a person, or you have a violent death and you move on. So your soul is trapped on earth and that's how you become a ghost. From there, there's two scenarios in which you can become a zombie. Number one is through magic. So a necromancer or a voodoo master decides they want a zombie army or they really didn't like you and they want you to become a zombie. Scenario two is through the popular media zombie, which is you get bit, you die, you come back to life. Or you get infected, you die, you come back to life. We're first going to explore through magic. So scenario one, a necromancer, a voodoo master, decides that they want to raise an army of zombies. Typically to do this, they end up using your soul to either power their magic, to power your body by trapping your soul inside you, or to trap your soul to use its power in general to run their zombie army. So in this scenario, I would say no. If a necromancer or a voodoo master has turned you into a zombie, in most cases they're using your soul to power what they're doing. So in that case, your soul would be trapped and wouldn't be able to become a ghost and you would just be a zombie. As soon as your soul was released, your zombie body would die and then it could become a ghost. But in this case, you wouldn't be a zombie and a ghost at the same time. Scenario 2. Popular media zombie. So we know through the popular media that, you know, something happens, you get bit, you get eviscerated, the zombies, you know, just dig into your flesh, and eventually you'll come back as a zombie. In almost all these cases, you first die and then your corpse gets reanimated. So in this case, I think you could be both a ghost and a zombie. Because let's say, you know, you violently die, a zombie hoards and rips you apart. You could die, your soul could be released, and then from the death could be stuck to this earth. But then your body could also be reanimated. Because there's no such claim that your soul is needed to power your animated body. So I would say for scenario two, popular zombie, you could be a ghost and a zombie at the same time. To answer your question, could I be a zombie and a ghost at the same time? Probably not if you were raised by a necromancer because they would use your soul to either power their magics or power your body. Probably yes if you became a zombie via the popular media, which is the bite, you die, and your corpse is reanimated. And I'm surprised there wouldn't be more ghosts in this world from all the gruesome deaths, people dying, strong attachments. Um, I would feel like in this world there would be tons of ghosts and zombies everywhere and it would be a nightmare for the living. Which is why in The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead doesn't refer to zombies, but it refers to humans. So thank you for watching. If you have a question such as... What would my life be like as a stormtrooper? You can hit us at hashtag askageek on Twitter at Roarist or message us on facebook.com slash myroarist. Subscribe, like this video, and make sure you come back for more geeky videos every day.